Good evening, I'm Fred Willard with your MoHo News Update. Here are tonight's top stories. Republican House Minority Leader John Boehner is rumored to have had an affair with a lobbyist. Evidently, he's still a big Bush supporter. <laughs> Item number two, there's been a surge in U.S. troop suicides, which explains the Army's new slogan, we do more antidepressants before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. <laughs> now, a growing number of prostitutes in China are learning English in order to communicate with American businessmen. Or at the bare minimum, love you long time. <laughs> An increasing number of high school seniors are taking a gap year before starting college. And with the current economy, it's a gap year before college and working at a gap after. <laughs> a gap. I get it, yeah. A new report found that Mississippi has the highest depression rate in the country. Experts say this is mostly due to the fact that they live in Mississippi. <laughs> a new poll found that most people are uninformed about religions. For example, most of those polled thought the Dalai Lama was a big-breasted animal from Argentina. <laughs> That was kind of hard to say. A big-breasted animal from Argentina. Anyway, a new study found that women apologize more than men. Dominatrixes everywhere beg to differ. <laughs> a survey found that 79% of men think that it's okay to have sexual fetishes. The other 21% tried to comment, but couldn't be understood through the ball gag. <laughs> Yesterday was National Vodka Day or as Lindsay Lohan calls it, Monday. <laughs> a study found that eating fatty fried foods makes people depressed. But you can't tell if they're holding their heads down because they're depressed, or if it's from the weight of all their chins. <laughs> it was my fault, I didn't do that too well. Anyway, a recent survey of Brits found that only 1% say they're gay. That can't be. You know that England has to have more beef eaters than what they have standing in front of the Tower of London. <laughs> in entertainment news, Jackson 5 brother Jermaine Jackson says he's broke. See what happens when people decide to clean their own pools? George Lopez and his wife Anne are divorcing. She's claiming mental cruelty. He made her watch Lopez Tonight. <laughs> Soccer superstar David Beckham denies that he hired a $10,000 a night call girl. And he also denies that she videotaped it and will sell it as bending over for Beckham. <laughs> now that he's a starter again, sales of Michael Vick's jerseys are way up, especially among cats. <laughs> and finally tonight, a North Carolina inmate was charged with trying to sneak a cell phone into prison by holding it in his rectum. And you thought only Verizon had crappy cell phones. Good heavens, that's your mobile news update. That's it.